Electric cars have an important role to play in the automotive industry, but they're not as environmentally clean as some would have you believe. It all has to do with how EVs are manufactured and recycled, as well as how the electricity that they use gets generated. A recent report commissioned by the EPA on the life cycle analysis of lithium ion batteries finds that they can lead to, and I quote here, resource depletion, global warming, ecological toxicity, and human health impacts. Wow! It goes on to say that the nickel and cobalt cathodes used in Lyon batteries, and I quote again, may cause adverse respiratory, pulmonary, and neurological effects in those exposed. You know, that don't sound very green to me. Another EV study published in the Journal of Industrial Ecology by Yale University says that depending on how many kilometers an EV is driven and where it gets its electricity means that its carbon footprint of many EVs may be, and I quote again from the report, indistinguishable from those of a diesel vehicle. If the electricity that goes into those batteries is generated from coal, EVs can be surprisingly dirty. In Germany, which relies heavily on coal, an EV will generate between 110 and 120 grams of CO2. Ironically, the European Union wants gasoline and diesel cars to achieve 95 grams by 2020. So in Germany, EVs cannot meet the CO2 standard. The key to these two studies is that they look at the life cycle energy use of electric vehicles. That means they calculate all the energy needed to manufacture these cars, the amount and sources of energy they use in operation, and then the energy needed to recycle them. And that tells a completely different story. Let's get one thing straight here. I love driving electric vehicles. I love the throttle response and the driving experience. I especially love how they reduce noise pollution. I would really like to see them be successful. But let's be honest about them. Automakers should not be claiming that they are zero emission vehicles because that is completely misleading.